Hi, so today you'd like to send a personalized email with Gmail, but you're not sure how to do it. Well, welcome aboard. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to send personalized email with a mail match for a Gmail called MailMeter. First, you need a Google Sheets uh, with a mailing list. So now I've made a, a quick one with about 20 uh, recipients in it. It's all a um, team of people. So there's Sally, John, Jessica, and so on. And this is my mailing list. From the Google Sheets, you need to use the add-ons menu and then click on Mail Meteor. If you don't have Mail Meteor yet, uh, just look at my video on how to install it. So from Mail Meteor, just click on Open Mail Meteor. The window opens and you are immediately signing. Um, from the interface, you see like this is my sender name, so I'm Jin from Mel Mitchell. Welcome guys. Um, I'm going to create a new template dedicated to this video. <clears throat> In this video, so um, I'm going to put a subject for the email content. And in the body, this is going to be like, hi Sally, um, this is Jim from Mel Major. Um, I'd like, I'd like to share with you my latest video on how to send personalized emails in Gmail. Here's the link. Take care, Jim. I'm going to save this one. Um, if you see in this preview, uh, I'm going to send one email to Sally with the variable with no variable in it. So that's hi Sally check it, Jim. But the second email is going to be sent to John, it will be hi Sally, it is Jim. So there's something wrong. We need to add what we call variables inside the body of your email. So let's replace Sally with a variable that is going to be called first name. Why first name? Because as you can see, the Google Sheets behind the first column, which is column A, is called first name. The second column is B with emails, and there's emails in there, and then this company. But the very first column, where there's Sally uh, as the content, and then John, and then Jessica, is the first name column. So I'm going to use double braces, and then first name, and then closing double braces. So, hi, first name. This is Jin from Malmetro. I'd like to share with you my latest video. Take care, Jin. Let's save the template again and see how it's working. So, we can see, like, hi, Sally. This is Jin from Malmetro. But if we, if we flip to the second row, now we are sending another email to John that is called, hi, John. This is Jin from Malmetro. And then again, hi, Jessica. No, no, no. And then one more, hi, Nicola. Which is Really great because you can send like very dedicated emails, personalized, um, and the recipient is not going to say like I'm part of a mailing list. It's, it's just going to, to to see like you sending an email directly to to him or her. Let, let's try with another variable, um, which is going to be like um, hi first name this is Jim from Malmichu. Um We met at and then we're going to use like the column C, so that's company. We met at company, using braces again, a lettuce event. I'd like to share with you now. Let's save again, and we can see, hi Sally, this is Jim from Malmeteor. We met at Neza, lettuce event. Um, for John, we're going to use like, hi John, this is Jim from Malmeteor. We met at Spaces. And same for Jess, we met at Blue Origin, and so on. What is very, very great with personalized emails that people don't notice that you're sending uh, like the same kind of email but with different variables in there. One more thing that I'd like to show you in this video is it's not only the, the, the email that can be personalized but as well the subject line. So let's try again to, to change the subject and for example I'm going to replace it with um, how is things at and then I'm going to use the company with double braces again. I think that's company. What the what Malmeter is going to do now is is going to say hi first name. So the first name is going to be Sally for the first email, and in the subject line is going to be how is things at Mesh. 
Let's have a look again. How is thing? Oh, I just missed question mark. How is thing that NASA? Hi, Sally. This is Jane from Mommy True. We made at NASA latest event, and so on. You can put as much variables as you want inside um, Malmeter emails. Once you're ready to go, you just need to uh, click on send emails. Um, Malmeter is going to send one email at a time to each of your recipients. And they totally won't notice how it works behind the scene. Hope you really enjoyed this video. If, if, you, if you like the channel, please subscribe to it. Um, talk to you soon in our video. Bye-bye.